Welcome to Car DIY, where apparently we don't just do cars, we do motorcycles. If you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we got lots more stuff just like this coming your way. Now, the big question here is why would I want to spend the money to switch to a lithium battery over a lead acid? Um, there's a couple reasons, and it actually isn't that much more money. Um, it is twice as much money, but I'll explain why that's not a bad deal. Now, these batteries are cheap. They're like 20, 30 bucks. This thing was right around 40. This weighs twice what this thing weighs. Now, it doesn't really matter too much. You're talking about shaving two, three pounds off of a bike that weighs a couple hundred. So if you're not trying to shave weight, why else would you want to switch to a lithium battery? The reason I'm doing it I seem to be the angel of death when it comes to motorcycle batteries. I came out the other day, take this thing out of the desert and ride, and the battery was stone dead. Now, fortunately, this thing's a kickstart, so that doesn't matter that much, but it means none of my lights function correctly, and it's kind of bad if I'm gonna take this out on the road. What these batteries have in them is a battery management system, a BMS, and that controls everything that's going on inside the battery. With a traditional lead-acid battery, if you over-discharge this thing, you kill it, and it will never hold a charge again it's junk, you gotta replace it. Lithium batteries have something a little bit different. If you over discharge a lithium cell, they do awful things like catch on fire, blow up. That's bad. So what they do is they've got a little battery management system in here that prevents it from over discharging. What it does is if this thing gets too low, it'll just shut the battery off completely. And now the battery's off. You'd have a dead battery anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. But the nice thing is, is when you charge it back up, the battery's fine because it had that little circuit in there to protect it. I seem to nuke one of these things. It almost seems like once a year. I've switched out lithium batteries on other stuff and they can last five or 10 years if you take care of them. The beautiful thing is you don't really have to take care of them. They kind of take care of themselves with that BMS. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this conversion. So start by hopping online and finding the equivalent battery replacement. You can take your battery type and search it and you can find it or you can search your bike or your car or whatever and search it. Um, this was the one that popped up for me. The nice thing about these ones and a lot of the lithium batteries is on the top of it here, they have a little button you can push and it'll tell you how much juice the battery has in it. So you can really quickly see how your battery's doing. Now, if you notice here, this battery is smaller. And like I said, it's considerably lighter than my lead battery, which is gonna be a problem inside my bike here. But it actually comes with this little guy that you screw onto the bottom and it gives you that height if you need it. So we're gonna add that on. What's, what's interesting is it even came with a screwdriver. I'm gonna use the screwdriver it came with, but I would hope that if you're a kind of person's gonna be changing batteries on your own bike, you probably have better drivers in your garage than what this thing comes with. All right, so we got our bottom here on the battery. Let's see. Let's get it installed in the bike. Now it's gonna install on the bike the same way the old battery went in, that's the great thing. It's got a negative and a positive, just like your normal battery, because it is just a normal battery. It's plug and play. We're gonna slide it on in there, get the wiring harness out of the way, and in she goes. Next, we're gonna come in here and just hook up our wiring like you normally would. Now I am gonna hook back up here. I also have the wiring for my battery tender. Sorry about all the dirt on this bike. It is a dirt bike and it gets used as such. What is also nice on this one that I noticed is the battery terminals have threaded, threaded bits here for both uh, mounting to the side and to the top. And we'll tuck that wiring up out of the way. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing for our positive side. Now I'll just keep the sucker on and all is well, she works. So like I said before, these batteries do cost twice as much. If you are looking for weight savings on your bike, um, it is a way to save some weight. That's not why I did it. I think actually spending twice as much is gonna save me money in the long run because of that BMS in there. It's not gonna allow me to kill the battery like I keep doing with these things. Now I will have a link for this one and a bunch of other lithium batteries down below if you want to check it out. This is not a sponsored video. I paid full price for this battery. I wish it was a sponsored video. I wish I got it for free, but I didn't. So if this video did help you out, uh, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you have any questions about these batteries or any other projects we're working on on the channel, please leave a comment down below. And of course, thanks for watching.